The purpose of this how-to video is a little bit more on setting up 2D problems and also, most importantly, how to add refinement points and refine the mesh. So what we have here is a plate with a hole. I'm going to define it as a 2D element. Uh, let me escape. I've got something selected from a previous command. So this is part one, yes. Okay, so far so good. Element type. Two-dimensional. This is going to be a plane stress element. Um, thickness. Let's make it a quarter of an inch thick. Material. We'll just use any material. It doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, I'm just going to use aluminum 1050. H14 to generate the mesh I clicked on these construction elements down here click on create 2D mesh and let's allow it to use a mix of quads and triangles I'm going to click apply okay it now has generated the mesh we need to apply some boundary conditions going to go to selection, select surfaces, I'm going to take this surface, right click, and I'm going to apply boundary condition. Okay, we obviously do not want translation in Y. I'm not going to tell it no translation in Z yet. Okay, obviously no translation in X. Um, let's allow no rotation. Click OK. Now I'm going to select vertex and I'm going to select this node right here. Right click and acquire. I need that actual. So let me select the node that I want. So I'm going to get kind of close to it and right click. And I'm getting the no actual node you want selected can be a challenge. Here we go. I keep right clicking near that vertex until I get the node that I want. I'm going to take this center node here and fix it. Completely fixed so I have no motion. That way I should be able to still see some displacement in the Z direction up here at the ed top edges as I apply a tensile force on this surface. Okay, so I'm going to go back to selection tab, surface, I'm going to select these surfaces, right click, add, and let's do this as a surface pressure. And let's say um, 100 psi. Click OK. And let's run our analysis. Alright, now we have some very interesting results here. First thing we want to do is check and make sure that we're not getting some kind of infinite displacement. So I'm going to click on the displacement and indeed our maximum displacement is one one thousandth of an inch. That seems extremely reasonable. Uh, we're not in rigid body motion so our solution is good so far. And you know I'd like to see what the original shape was. So I'm going to go down here to show displaced go to displaced options and tell it to show the undisplaced model as transparent that way I can see exactly how much change has taken place now the scale factor is 5 I find that to be a little extreme so I'm going to change the scale factor to 1.5 that way it won't look quite as distorted alright that looks good okay I'm going to zoom out a little bit going to the zoom tab, zoom out a bit, and then pan, so I have it placed in the screen where it's easy for me to see. Zoom a little bit more out. Alright, so next thing, let's look at results contours. Now I'm going to need to hit the escape key to make sure I've turned the zoom off. Let's look at von Mises stress. Okay, I'm getting a maximum von Mises stress of 293 PSI, and that's right in this region where we would expect it. 
Now in our problem, this is going to be our region of primary interest. So what I'm going to do is go to View, and I'm going to zoom in on that part of the model. Okay, so go back to Results Contours, make sure I hit Escape, and let's take off smoothing. Okay, we have some serious issues here with the stress not being smooth. That tells us that our solution is going to have quite a bit of discretization error in it. Now, in order to get an idea of that, I'm going to go to stress and look at von Mises precision. Remember, good is zero, bad is 0 0.5. I don't like this. This is up 0 0.14. 0 0.14. I think we can do better. So I'm going to go back to my FEA editor. I'm going to turn on this thing to select vertices. And I'm going to try to select, let's see, let me go back to results a second. Where's my worst error is right in this general vicinity. So I'm going to select some nodes in that area. Add refinement points. Now, effective radius tells you how far out around that point that you want this refinement to uh, take place. Let's just do uh, half inch. Instead of mesh size, I'm going to use divide factor, and I'm going to divide each element into five more elements. Okay, and I'll select another point here, here, and here, and let's see if it'll let me add them all at the same time. Need it will. Add refinement points as I did before. I'm going to put a half inch effective radius and a divide factor of five. Well, so far everything looks the same. How do I modify that mesh? Well, I double click on my 2D mesh here. I went to my when uh, went to my tray, went to meshes, 2D mesh. I'm going to click apply. That's going to regenerate the mesh. And as you can see, we now have a finer mesh in this region. Now, there, we could remesh the entire part. And when we do that, yeah, we get a finer mesh. But we are not worried about error over here on the left hand, far left, or on the far right. But in this area where we're getting the worst results for precision. So that's why I'm only going to refine it in that area. It's a more efficient way to solve the problem. Okay, let's run our simulation here. Okay, now I'm noticing a strange thing here. Notice I've got this red dot here all of a sudden. In my Valmysis precision has gone up. Let's look back at our model. I'm noticing a red triangle showing up here. Okay, that's a boundary condition. I didn't set that. If I did, it was just like an accidental nodal boundary condition that got set. So I'm going to delete that. That should not be there. I'll run my simulation again. If you're following along, hopefully you didn't uh, make the same mistake that I did. Okay, we've gotten our von Mises precision down to 0.1%. It was 0.14, so we've succeeded in reducing it. Let's see what our von Mises stress looks like. Uh, we're seeing it looking much, much smoother in this area. Let's do a zoom in on just that area of interest. Okay, the smoothing still not really good. Um, you know, the continuity, if we smooth it, it looks good, but we're not getting really good continuity. Now, where's the worst error at? Let's see. Okay, it's occurring in this region here. Well, we could go back and refine the mesh one more time, and let's let's um, let's do that. I'm going to make another change here. We could go in and modify these refinement points. Let's see if I can select those refinement points. I'm holding down the control key so I can make multiple selections and hovering long enough for it to tell me it's a refinement point. Okay, I'm going to right click and go edit. 
Let's make the divide factor 10. Click OK. Remember you need to regenerate that mesh. So I go to my 2D mesh and click Apply. Alright, now we have a much, much finer mesh. Let's run our simulation. And again, there's no need to refine the mesh over here because we're not having issues with error, precision error over there. It's extremely low, if not zero, so we don't need to refine the mesh there. Alright, we now have our precision down to 0.07. That is much, much better. Um, I would have great confidence in these, in these results. Let's go ahead and zoom in on our area of interest. I'm going to zoom with a window. Alright, so it's looking much better. Let's look at our stress, von Mises stress. Okay, we're getting maximum of about 323 PSI. So I myself, I would feel confident with these results. They look good. The precision error looks good. So, um, 